Yeah, so good morning, everybody, and welcome to our 2021 Virtual Engineering Awards Celebration. Um, I'm Cheryl Ehrman, the Don Beal Dean of the Davidson College of Engineering, and I want to thank everybody uh, for taking the time to be with us today. Uh, because this format is very different from our usual banquet nights, I want to just start by giving an overview of this next hour ahead. Uh, first, we'll hear from our student speaker, Adam L. Wiley, graduating from our electrical engineering department. And then you'll hear brief remarks uh, um, by four of our alumni. And then after that, I'll return to give a few college updates and also to introduce our award winners. We're experimenting with something special for you in the second half of this hour a way to interact with our students who are very excited to show off their projects. You'll be able to attend three or four different mini presentations and then we'll gather to close the event. So again, welcome everybody. And without further ado, it's my pleasure to uh, welcome Adam L. Wiley. Thank you very much for that introduction. Again, I'm Adam L. Wiley, a graduating senior in electrical engineering. I've been asked to share how being a student here in the College of Engineering at San Jose State has transformed my life. The reality is that my life has been transformed in more ways than I can articulate here, but I'll do my best to try. When I entered the campus community almost four years ago, one of the first things that struck me was the abundance of opportunity. As a student here at San Jose State, one can find fellow students or instructors to support almost any interest or endeavor. It took me some time to really internalize the implications of this reality, but I eventually realized that the only thing stopping me from engaging in my interests with others was my own hesitancy. So I reached out. I reached out to professors in the electrical engineering department who shared my academic interests and engaged with them in research. After plenty of time and hard work, our research in the field of semiconductor electronics paid off with several conference presentations and at least one paper in a peer reviewed journal. I'm very proud of these concrete accomplishments, but this process of being a student and engaging in research has transformed me in a much more significant way. It provided me with a very clear direction for my career. It inspired me to push myself to the forefront of my field. And it has led me to accept admission to the electrical engineering PhD program at Stanford University. It goes without saying that none of this would have happened had I not been given an incredible opportunity here in the College of Engineering at San Jose State. I would never have discovered my passion for scholarship, and I surely would not have been able to go on to become an expert in my field. Now, this all sounds great, at least for me, but I think it's worth taking a moment to consider why this matters. In other words, why should the community at large concern itself with the personal growth of individual engineering students at San Jose State? I think different people would give different reasonable answers to this question, but in my view, it's all about making the world a better place, even if only by a tiny amount. The education and guidance students like me receive here enables us to design solutions to the pressing issues of today and tomorrow. I can't speak for other students or their respective engineering fields, but I can give an example from my own experience. One of the projects I presented at a conference was on the design of an electronic device used in power converters. Making these devices more efficient and therefore waste less energy is a compelling design challenge that can materially make the world better. I don't know what the future holds, but it is this kind of challenge that my time here at San Jose State has prepared me to take on. And I believe that other students across the college have been well prepared to take on these kinds of challenges as well. And that's something that everyone can be thankful for. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much, Adam. Um, please definitely stay in touch with us as you head up the road to Stanford. I, I really love your, your story and your excitement about what you do, and, and uh, we just keep hiring faculty. So <laughs> there will be a way thank to have you, you come much. back. Uh, so, um, so moving to the next uh, part of our program, let's watch as some of our treasured alumni explain how their time with San Jose State's College of Engineering transformed their lives. Uh, I don't think there's any sound coming through. Unmute, Sonella. Hello. 
Uh, my name is Quinn Chu. Uh, I'm a materials uh, engineering major, uh, graduate with BS degree in the year 2000. I work at a company called Jable, um, and I'm currently an engineering director, uh, manage the uh, research and development facility here. That allows for me to make a difference in the our society, right? The different product that we manufacture on behalf of our customers and knowing where those product goes into and how it's being used. Um, it really is you know, part of our joy here. So how SJSU had transformed me as I went through my education, I think what really comes down to is my interaction with my uh, professors in school um, and my counselor uh, or my advisor, school advisor. And I, I think there's this genuine interest in making sure that the students are really giving or getting the education they need, but also uh, helping us to understand what's needed to be successful in the workplace. And my school academic advisor had that best interest in mind at all times. And I think that translated to who I am today as well, right? And, and kind of giving back at the same time to those that are, you know, I'm talking to uh, that are in the younger crowd, if you will, right? My name is Joy Franco. I graduated from the Mechanical Engineering Department in 2014. As a Mechanical Engineering PhD student um, who's also really interested in biological systems, I study mechanoreceptors. So these are neurons that um, are very similar to the ones that are in your skin that allow you to sense touch. And I apply mechanical engineering techniques in a way that allow us to improve our measurements and make more repeatable, more reliable measurements of how those neurons uh, either respond to their mechanical environment or how they respond to mechanical stimuli. Being a student at San Jose State transformed me from someone who really knew nothing about engineering, about physics, about the problems that engineers solved into someone who isn't afraid to take on a challenge. With the education that I received from San Jose State, I can look at a challenging problem and rather than feel intimidated, I feel absolutely capable knowing that I can approach that problem and dissect into tractable components and, and know how to work my way from beginning to end uh, to find a solution to whatever problem is in front of me. My name is Enrique Jose Padilla. I graduated from SJSU in 2016 as software engineering. I'm currently working in Google as a software engineer. I work on a phone application that's called Google Voice. It essentially gives users uh, an extra phone number for their phone. Um, it's great for any small business owner or maybe teachers, anybody who maybe want to separate their personal phone number from maybe uh, their work or other side hustle. I transferred from Nicaragua, um, which I, I love very much, but it is a third world country. Coming over to San Jose State University and being able to experience the quality of teachers that challenged me, uh, the courses that for me were like, just I didn't even know these technology existed. Um, this type of preparation allowed me to, to I want to say, put me where I am today, which I'm very grateful, uh, working in one of the leading tech companies of the world. I actually couldn't imagine it when I was first coming here as an exchange student uh, and making the decision to transfer and, and finish my degree in San Jose State University was probably one of the best decisions of my life. Hi, I'm Sonar Tech TV. I am a computer engineering graduate from San Jose State and I graduated in 1996. I'm currently Vice President of Strategy Planning and Operations at VMware based out of Palo Alto, California. So what I do is I help us solve the biggest problems that are stopping us from being able to delight and reach our customers. And I am all about doing this in a way that's fun for all of our employees across the company. 
So I am such a proud alumna of SJSU and the computer engineering department because what the education at SJSU enabled me to do is really understand the underlying technology of the problems that we're trying to solve and the products we're trying to build and the innovations that we're trying to bring to the world. But I took a little bit of an unconventional path and where I'm helping drive operations at the business level my engineering education is critically foundational for me to understand what my teams are going through and really enable them to deliver the best value for our customers. All right, so thank you so much to our alumni who agreed to make these videos. And I think most everybody's on uh, this event today. So um, thank you in person. And then special thanks also to our videographer. So uh, now I'll give an update about where our college finds itself in May 2021. Uh, after weathering the shutdown, like all of you, we are in deep discussions, uh, some even occurring uh, as we're <laughs> in this meeting about what the summer and the fall will look like as we transition back to campus. So we will start repopulating the campus in July uh, in stages with the utmost caution and also respecting that people are arriving from different situations with different needs. And at the same time, uh, we are joyfully celebrating the 75th uh, year of engineering at San Jose State. We've created a student video competition during National Engineers Week in February, and then we also developed a special double issue of our alumni magazine, and then a really special, a robust historic timeline on our website, which I encourage you to visit after this event. Um, I would like to take a moment here to honor three important members of our community uh, who have recently passed away. Uh, I'll begin with uh, Don Noonan. He graduated in engineering with honors from San Jose State College, as it was called then, and then went on to receive his master's MBA and a PhD in civil engineering from Stanford. He worked as a design engineer before serving as an officer in the US Army in Korea. And then in 1959, he joined our industrial and systems engineering department. And from 1978 to 79, he was the interim dean of the college. Don was the author or co-author of more than a dozen books. Uh, the second person I'd like to remember here is our distinguished alumnus, David Brown, uh, from Mechanical Engineering Class of 1968. He was passionate about providing equity and access to STEM education uh, to underserved communities. The Dave, uh, David Brown Fellowship in Mechatronics was established in 1996 to promote the professional development of students in mechatronics and to advance the mechatronics program. The recipients of his fellowship contribute to the mechatronics lab development and lab instruction during the fellowship year. And then finally, uh, Charles W. Davidson, who we fondly know knew as Chuck, for whom our college is named, he graduated from civil engineering in 1957 um, after working nights in local railroad yards and attending classes during the day. An entrepreneur who founded and managed five thriving companies, he built thousands of homes was a pioneer in creating and enabling affordable housing, and he provided the engineering college with the largest gift in its history. In addition to the very tangible legacies that each of these gentlemen left, they're with us in spirit and memory. And now it is my pleasure to introduce our 2021 20, alumnus of distinction, a veteran of the United States Marines who then studied in our industrial technology program, Jim Puzar has worked with Zycon, 3Com, Resound, and Flextronics. Recently, Jim joined Jabil as a senior manager of operations development working on digital transformation initiatives. During his career, he completed the executive program at MIT's Sloan School of Management, focusing on the strategic use of AI and earned an MBA at Golden Gate University. Jim has contributed notably to many industries by integrating new technologies like artificial intelligence and machine learning into manufacturing companies to help them improve and grow their operations. Jim, I'm looking forward to hearing what you have to say. All right, thank you. Uh, well, first, I want to first. I, I think when we get started here, I want to thank Ahmed for uh, uh, bringing me back to San Jose State. Uh, you know, I'm not sure what he was thinking when I responded to his LinkedIn post, but uh, you know, he uh, you know 
he reached out to me and then to yourself, uh, Cheryl and Fred, for giving me an opportunity to actually be a guest lecturer in, in last semester and this semester. Hopefully that'll continue on into future semesters. I think it's good to uh, you know, share my knowledge and, and uh, pass it on to, the, to students. Uh, and uh, I think that's an important thing, uh, especially as I you know, sort of come to the latter stages of my career, uh, it's important to take that knowledge and pass it on to the students uh, uh, around me. And then, uh, you know, Fred, of course, for nominating me, the, nom the committee for selecting me for this uh, award. And then uh, I think the last thing is uh, being selected for this advisory board. I think it's important uh, and, and I, I find it uh, a great honor to be part of this board because it uh, gives me an opportunity to bring uh, an industry point of view and make sure that the courses that are taught at, uh, you know, San Jose State are, are relevant and continue to be relevant as uh, you know things change in the industry and uh, and 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 as uh, things evolve and change. So, so I, I thank you, you know, thank you for this award. All right, you're welcome. Um, I'm just smiling because I, I was willing to bet at least a dollar you'd be wearing a baseball hat, and I, I just uh, want to say nice choice of hat on, on this particular day. It looks good. <laughs> All right, so thank you very much, Jim, and now it gives me great pleasure to show off our 2021 Engineering Award winners. Uh, remember, you can read more about them by visiting the awards website, uh, and I assure you they have each offered interesting details, um, but for now I'll, I'll uh, list them as you'll see them on the slides, and I'll just make brief remarks about why they were chosen. Oh, and the, web, uh, the website to go to, to to read their bios is in the chat, so please have a look. Uh, so the first person I want to mention is um, is Erica Lockheimer, who's the the winner of the Dean's Service Award, uh, committed to increasing the diversity in STEM at San Jose State. I'll just say that Erica puts her time where her heart is and has shown her commitment in so many ways. Uh, she's just some examples. She serves on the board of our Women in Engineering Conference, um, and in addition to supporting and speaking at the conference, and speaks to students. Um, all the time. Even recently, I think there was one uh, two a day that she did just a couple weeks ago or a week ago. So thank you, Erica. All right, so the Scott Axline Memorial Student Award for Excellence in Service this year goes to um, Joshua Bevis. Uh, Josh, in particular, uh, stepped up in service to the college by making an outstanding presentation to government officials this spring about his experience as a student during the pandemic. And he'll start work as a manufacturing process engineer at Keysight Technologies in June. All right, and then the Don Beal Student Award for Engineering Accomplishment goes to Afreen Schaus. And she is currently working on a project to optimize the process of matching foster care children with foster families using data analytics. Our Noonan Brothers Award for Faculty Excellence this year goes to Professor Hu Yong Wong. Uh, he received the National Science Foundation Career Award this past year, which supports his efforts in research and teaching. And he's leading the creation of a quantum computing and information specialization for the electrical engineering master's program. Again, doing whatever we need to do to keep our curriculum current with industry needs. The Faculty Award for Excellence in Teaching this year goes to Professor Crystal Hahn. Uh, Crystal uses Flip Classroom, um, peer teaching and learning, and incremental three-stage problem-solving assignments to enhance learning outcomes of her students. And she also leads uh, a microbiosystems research laboratory where students get hands-on um, experience in, in doing research. And the award for excellence in faculty service this year goes to Sam Obi, Professor Sam Obi in our industrial technology department. Over a 32 year career, Sam has served as technology's program director and academic advisor, managed the program's assessment and planning and served as a board member and trustee of Epsilon Pi Tau, which is the honorary uh, organization for technology. And this year's Faculty Award for Excellence in Scholarship goes to Professor Nima Karamian. Uh, in 2021, Nima received a National Science Foundation Research Initiation Award. Uh, he's a director of the Cy Silicon Valley Cybersecurity Institute and an associate editor for the Discover IoT Journal. 
The award for outstanding lecturer this year goes to Michael Larkin. Mike uh, co-founded RingCube, which was acquired by Citrix and is the father of the OpenBSD hypervisor. Um, please ask him what that is. And he's been teaching virtualization, operating systems and security in our software engineering master's program for the past 20 years. Our next three staff award winners are presented in alphabetical order by last name. So we'll start with Fabiola. Um, she started as a student assistant uh, and after graduating, she chose to stay at San Jose State for another 16 years. So always willing to assist and train analysts from other departments to bring them up to speed. Fabiola has gone seamlessly from managing two programs to managing six academic programs. Right, the next uh, staff award winner is Lisa Francesca. Lisa has really improved the way we communicate with students, staff, and faculty, and also all of our external constituents. So along with newsletters and event collateral, she edits our alumni engineering at San Jose State, including um, the 75th anniversary double issue. And then with all the new programs and different grant awards implemented over the last few years, Karen applied her mathematical and MBA background to set up systems and train the department analysts so they could better track their faculty and department funding so we can manage all these new programs. So congratulations to all of our award winners. All right, so next I'd like to introduce the student showcase. Uh, so what we've done is we've created um, five rooms for our students and industry friends to interact and meet one another over the next 20 minutes. In just a moment, you'll be able to choose a breakout room and attend a student club showcase of your choice. Um, if you can't get into a breakout room, just stay here and our techs will uh, help you um, get into the room of your choice. So in each room, the students will talk for a few minutes about their projects. We've got a lot of exciting projects underway as always. And then you'll uh, have a minute or two to ask questions. You should be able to transition in and out of the rooms. And we hope to have you visit three or four clubs before we reconvene and close this event. So once again, if you have any technical issues, uh, please stay here and our, our um, folks will be able to assist you. All right, so welcome back, everybody. Um, I hope you had a good interactive conversation with our students. And I also want to thank our, our students for showing up and, and participating in the showcase. There's just a lot of great things going on between um, clubs and teams and everybody's <coughs> projects. Uh, so just some closing remarks as we wrap up this virtual event. I want to thank you for joining us on this Friday morning, um, soon to be Friday afternoon. And a thank you to everybody who helped to make this event possible. Uh, and as you head towards uh, hopefully a good lunch at home or wherever you are at work uh, and the rest of your day, I just want to remind you that we hear inspirational stories every day at San Jose State's College of Engineering, and we would love to hear your story too. The 75-year history of our college is really a collection of stories of people and people transforming not just their own lives, but transforming Silicon Valley and beyond. Uh, these are not just stories about faculty and staff, but also the students our alumni and all of our uh, community partners as well. So please share your story with us. Uh, you'll see the, the link on the screen and then uh, it looks like Lisa's dropping it. Yep, uh, Teresa's dropping it into the chat. Uh, and thank you again for being part of our 2021 Engineering Awards celebration. Uh, stay safe everyone and we look forward to seeing many of you in person soon. Cheryl. Fred. Yes, I hope just like the Tokyo Olympics from 2020 is going to be 2021, we can celebrate our 75th next year. Oh, I think we should be entitled to do whatever we want next year. I'm with you, Fred. <laughs> that sounds like a good thing to add to the list. <laughs> All right, very good. Thank you. Yeah, thanks right, everybody thank for thank coming. You. Congratulations, all, right. all the award winners. Bye. Bye. Thank, thank you. Bye-bye.